I was seeking the Lord about my assignment. And my word comes from the book of Mark. And it says, Jesus, why have you forsaken me? And I began, I laid prostrate, Mother Felton, stretched out, Bishop. I said, Lord, I understood the message, but what exactly, there was something that was quite missing. Now I did my homework. And I just, as I was laying there, I heard the Lord say, Jesus has not forsaken you. Jesus has not forsaken you. Whatever, whatever, Whatever he promised, he's able to do. Jesus has not forgotten you. And I kept singing, Jesus has not forsaken me. This is personal. Jesus has not forsaken me. No matter, no matter, no matter how long it takes, what he promised, he's able to do. Jesus has not forsaken I began to see Jesus with the cross on his back and he was walking and the cross was heavy he was he it was heavy but he knew that he had a mission he had an assignment and even though the cross was heavy chaplain Cole and sometimes his legs would get weary glory to God but he kept on going in spite of the pain, in spite of the heaviness of the cross. He endured it. And then the Lord let me see there's some of you that's carrying a cross. You're carrying a cross of anguish, of despondency, of bitterness, we've heard it today, of loneliness. But the Lord told me to tell you on today. He said, I heard your prayer. I heard I must see I heard your prayer. <laughs> Glory to God. But there's some things that we have to endure. There is a plan. There is a purpose for the cross that each of us have to carry. Glory to God. And as we're going and we're carrying our cross, we've been over, Mother Felton, we've been over. But Bishop Morris, the Lord said, straighten up. Straighten up. Straighten up. Straighten up. I see up. Straighten up. Because I have given you the victory. I have given each of you the victory. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Hear what the Lord is saying on today. Yes, you got a cross. Huh? You got a cross. Huh? I got a cross. Huh? We all got a cross. Huh? But we got to go through. Huh? But just as Jesus huh, endured the cross, huh? we got to endure the cross. Huh? We got to go through our trials. Huh? We got to go through through our tribulations, uh, but be of good cheer. Why? Because Jesus overcame. And if Jesus overcame, Sister Raquel, uh, we can overcome. Glory to God. Uh, glory to God. Uh, lift up your hands uh, and tell him thank you. Come on, open up your mouths uh, and tell him thank you. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, my cross is heavy, uh, but I will endure it uh, in the name of Jesus. You, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, Yes, Lord. Come on and tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God has not forsaken you. He has not forsaken you. Hallelujah. That was personal. That was personal. God is so wise. 
I said, Lord, why did you give me that word? But I know why he gave me that word. Because I felt forsaken. I'm just going to tell the truth. I did feel forsaken. It's been almost 20 months since Mother Charwick has gone on to be with the Lord. And I give God praise. But from the time that she passed, up until 118 days thereafter, my only child, my only child was diagnosed with a chronic medical condition. And I said, Lord, I, I finally understood why Mother Trawick had to go on to be with the Lord because I couldn't take care of my beloved mother and my child. And so it was, the Lord allowed it to be so. And I cried, No. I cried and I turned down my plate I know that's and I just kept walking around in a circle, Deacon Ruffin, because it was a hard thing and it is a hard thing. But you know what, after you pray a while, after you fast, out of a sea, out of a shunder, he gives you strength to carry your cross. And why do we carry our cross? Because somebody else uh, has to be helped. We go through to help somebody else. Uh, somebody glory else. to yeah, God. God. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And guess what? I'm stronger. I'm wiser, Sharon. And I'm better. And I'm more determined to hold on to God's unchanging yeah, yeah, Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I know. When you got to stay up late at night, when your cross is heavy, Mother Felton, it hurts. When you got to watch your child suffer, it hurts. Mother Morris, when he's trying to gasp for air, it hurts. When it's hard for him to walk. But the Holy Ghost said, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with Jared Carlton Wallace. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Glory to God. You know, Elder Rudy, you're right. We got to tell it. We got to tell our own testimony. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I thank God for you, Mother Priscilla Felton. I finally, you know what? Acceptance. Acceptance is a good thing. And you know when I finally could accept it? When you gave us that free opportunity in your women's session. She had no idea. That was when my chains fell off. Because you know, when you, you gotta be able to feel comfortable. You gotta be in a, 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 a free environment to, where people aren't going to look at you and condemn you and feel sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for Evangelist Wallace. Don't feel sorry for Jared. Pray for us. Because God is doing something. We're carrying our cross, Bishop Felton. We're carrying our cross. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. I better finish up my assignment. Hallelujah, Shanda. But somebody going to get free today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, no cross, no crown. Yes, Lord, I'm a shunder. None of us see commercial. I know what I know. I know what I know. Glory to God. Woo! Mark 15 and 34. about the ninth hour. That's somewhere around three o'clock. Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, right. Eloi, Eli, lama sabbathani, which being interpreted, my God, my God, make my it personal. God. Why have you Woo. forsaken me? This is very personal, very personal. Now the fourth word, in my opinion, is probably both Jesus' lowest point as well as a high point in theology. Why? Because the crowds have dispersed and they've waited a long time for death to occur. Now, I'm not going to ask how many of you watch somebody to die, but I'm here to tell you it can be long. It can be days. 
It can be hours or it can be minutes. But the body takes on a physical change. And, and you can see, and then the spirit man begins to wrestle with the flesh. Because the spirit man is ready to go on to be with the Lord, but the flesh, the human side, that person wants to stay beyond. And then all kinds of things happen to the body. And then it happens. When death is around, it's a, it's a dark time. It's dark. And when things are dark, it's, they're dreary. And people are afraid of the dark. They become fearful in the dark. And so it was. Jesus was there. And he wasn't by himself. There were the two thieves, one on each side. And he had lost a lot of blood. And you could hear him crying out, My God, my God, why? Have you forsaken me? And that's what some of you are saying on today, as quiet as it's kept. God, why are you allowing this to happen to me? Why haven't you answered my cry? Why do I have to be sick? Why did I have to go through the divorce? Why did I have to be thrown out of my house? Why, 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 why? <laughs> you may not confess it to me, but the Holy Ghost right. knows. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But don't you know that everything that we go through, the Word of God says, and we know in Romans 8 and 28, uh, all things, not some things, not this thing, not that oh, thing, not event, but all Save things. Uh, it's working together for our good uh, because it. we love the Lord uh, and because we are the called uh, according to his purpose. You come out of us, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. You got a cross, you got a cross, we all got a cross. Hallelujah, glory to God. But one thing is for sure, in all that Jesus had to do, God approved his work. It is certain that Jesus was innocent. He had done nothing wrong to forfeit the favor of God. And yet, as God's only son, Elder Johnson, he was holy, he was harmless, he was undefiled, but yet he was obedient to what his cross, what he had to do, and that was to carry his cross. And for that, God still loved his son. And the Bible lets us know in Isaiah 53 and 4, he ha surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But guess what, y'all? But he was wounded, wounded. for our transgressions. Hallelujah. He was bruised Bruise. for our iniquities. And the chastisement of his peace is upon each and every one of us on today. And with his stripes, guess what? We are healed on today. Hallelujah. We're healed. We're healed in our minds. We're healed within our hearts. We are healed on today. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Thank you on today. Now, Jesus took on all the sins for you and I, Elder Macon. And you know what? He felt desolate. And he, Sister Ruffin, I'm going to make you an evangelist, but that's all right. It's coming. The word, I'm like you. I like words. Desolation. A complete state of emptiness. Misery. God bless you, Dr. Mother Benjamin. It's good to have you in the house, Dr. Alice Benjamin. And when you're desolate, you feel lonely. You feel empty. And I felt like that when, when I first heard about my son's diagnosis. I felt I, I, was, I was lonely. <clears throat> I was lonely, Deacon Ruffin. Because... I wanted my mother to be there to comfort me, to console me, 
But you know what, Elder Gilbert, Pastor Gilbert, I had to be a big girl. And I had to call on the name of the Lord. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yes, I mean. And you know what? <laughs> Still calling. And it's all right. Help me down, Elder. How about shy? He got out of my sea, Abasha. Glory to God. See, when you're carrying your cross, your cross is heavy. And you got to have, you got to have your altar. Abasha. You got to have that place. Glory to God. When you feel forsaken, you got to get you an altar. I don't care if it's your bathroom. I don't care if it's a chair. Hallelujah. But you got to get you an altar. And you got to get down on your knees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes, saints, the words don't come. But I thank God. Because we not all about see Kandabasha. We know not what to pray for. Yes. As we ought. But the Spirit will make intercession. And you got to learn how to intercede. You got to learn how to fall down on your knees. And you got to carry your own cross. But if you carry your own cross, Jesus will be there with you. I'm not bent over no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Glory to God. It's not of my own strength, but it's of God's strength. Every time I, and you know what? My son never complains. Never complains. But the intuition, because I'm a mother, Mother Morris, a mother knows her child. And I walk around in my house and I call on Jesus. I call on Jesus. I call on Jesus. And then when I'm really in gear, I got my oil in my hand. And sometimes I go in his room, this Washington, and I take the oil, sister, and I lay it on his forehead. He say, Mom. I say, it's me. And he'll just go on back to sleep. But I'm enduring my cross. And you know why? Because I got to reach back and help somebody else. God has given me a ministry for caregivers. And I, any caregivers in here, anybody giving care to anybody else, let me tell you one thing, God has not forsaken you. God has not abandoned, has not abandoned you. Glory to God. He loves you, caregivers. He loves you. And he will perfect those things which concerneth you. Glory to God. How do I know? Because he's done it for me. Glory to God. Halabasha. Yes. Now let me go back to the message. I'm talking about being forsaken. I'm, I know I'm telling the truth because it's, it's I, I saw it in the spirit. Some of you all carrying some heavy loads. I mean heavy. you almost like all the way down on the ground. But guess what? God had not forsaken you. He's there with you. He's there with you. And it is work. Yes, Lord. And we thank you right now. Thank you for the strength right now. Thank you for the strength right now. Thank you for the strength right now. Strengthen her. Strengthen her. Strengthen her for the journey. Yes, Lord. This thing is real. Oh, it's real. And we do feel sometimes that we are forsaken. But God is there. He's there. Some, you got to trust him when you can't trace him. You're not going to always, you know, feel like shouting and dancing. But you got to be able to see into the future. The Bible says, now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. And guess what? I'm going to go a little further, okay? And I had faith because I had gotten some bad news about my child. I got some real bad news. 
And they were going to put my child, put a feeding tube in my baby. But you know what? I did what I know how to do. Huh? The Bible says this kind uh, only come out uh, but by fasting and praying. Huh? So you better believe. Huh? Mother Maiden knows. We was fasting and praying. Guess what? That boy is 230 some odd pounds. Glory to God. Then the devil thought he was going to knock me out again. And then my child had to start wearing a brace. Oh my God. I said, Lord, what am I going to do? He said, I can do all things through Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And eventually, Brother Jared's going to be back in church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But he's coming. Hallelujah. I'm helping somebody today. No cross, no crown. No cross, no crown. No cross, Michelle, no crown. You're not in this thing alone. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. This trial you're going through. God's going to show you what to do. You can make it. You can make it. I don't care what's going wrong. God won't let it last too long. You're not in this alone you and the Holy Ghost you can make it yes Lord let your glory your glory your glory I thank God for the church of God in Christ I thank God because I got filled with the Holy Ghost. And if I didn't have the Holy Ghost, uh, Brother Howard, I couldn't make it. I wouldn't be able to hold my head up high. I wouldn't be able to do what God has called me to do. But guess what, Brother Chairman? With Christ, with Christ, I can do all things, all things through Him. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. When you pray, I want you to pray patiently. When you pray, I want you to pray passionately. When you pray, I want you to pray persistently. When you pray, I want you to pray fervently. Glory to God. And when you do those things, God will answer your prayer. He will hear you when you cry. The Bible says, lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help, your help. It all comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, my God, in him will I trust. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he'll tell you what to do. He'll give you favor. He'll open doors. He'll make ways. He will provide. But most of all, he'll give you peace and the peace of God, which passes all understanding will keep your heart will keep my heart hallelujah yes Lord that's right it'll keep my mind it'll keep my mind my mind is kept my mind is kept I'm saved on today I'm sanctified I'm baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and I know that he hasn't forsaken me he has not he has not point to yourself and say God has not forsaken me. Brother Stephen, he hadn't forsaken you. Mother Beard, he hasn't forsaken you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Be encouraged, saints. 
Be encouraged. Be encouraged. For the race is not given to the swift, Sister Joanne, nor the battle to the strong, call it, but to him or her that endureth to the end. Run your race. Run your race with patience. Run your race. Don't complain. If you fall down, get back up. Why? Because Jesus got up on the third day, and he got up with all power in his hands. Not some power of us, but he got up with all power, all power, all power, all power, all power in his hands. Jesus has not, has not, Bishop, he hadn't forsaken you. He hadn't forsaken you. Yes, Lord. He's with you. Yes, Lord. I'm a son. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Jesus has not. This is Bishop J. Lewis Felton thanking you for joining us for the Mount Airy Kingdom Worship Experience. May you continue to partner with us as we share the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world. We love you in Jesus' name.